Yeah, so one of the things I enjoy the most about Rush to Max is the fact that it's so weird, like some things are upgraded a bunch and some things aren't, that every time I log into the account, it's like a whole new adventure. And I've got to figure out what would be the best thing to upgrade. And I think that's what the, the draw to this series really has been so far. And that means we're going to continue it. Let's go. Uh, I've got Lunian still trained up. My laboratory finished off, so we need to do something else in there soon. I don't have a load of loot, but I do have a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and collect my treasury. This is why I know how much I have. And we're going to get to work. So let's go find a couple of good bases and smack it. But before we bring in the attack, guys, uh, let's hear from today's video's sponsor, which don't panic. It's me. I guess my standards are going up. And that's good. I mean, that's kind of what you'd expect. There's a, there's a legendary in this pack. Okay, there is a legendary in this pack, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's just, let's just figure it out together, shall we? For the remaining Clash Royale trading card giveaways and to see which legendary I got, check out Klaus Plays, my second YouTube channel. Link for that can be found in the video description. Yes, that's right, guys. If you want to see more of the Clash Royale trading cards, you'll have to go check out my second YouTube channel, Klaus Plays. That's what it's named right now. It may be changing soon, but check out the link in the description either way for more Clash Royale trading card giveaways and videos. Speaking of giveaways, I am partnering with Supercell to give away one gray P.E.K.K.A. statue, which you guys can see in the picture in front of my face. If you guys are interested in winning that, all you have to do is be the first person to input the code that will randomly appear on the screen in today's video. Be paying attention be watching and then put that code into the redemption link down below in the description or in the pinned comment let me know if you won down below in the comments or any of my social media or on my discord server good luck and now let's get to the gameplay all right so i'm sticking with this base it's an amazing base beautiful base actually and um yeah let's smack it i'm gonna actually come in from this bottom side because um well no real reason i guess i mean i i, I probably should have come in from the other side to be honest just because this is that's where all of the um, Dark Elixir is down there at the bottom. But you know what? I'm always down for a challenge. Plus, there's not a whole lot of firepower in the core. So, yeah, let's pop this uh, queen. Let's uh, rage up these balloons in the middle. And I forgot to send my warden. <laughs> Get in there, warden. I believe you can do it. You can do it, buddy. Oh, he's going to be here way too late. Okay, let's drop another rage spell. And then maybe I can use my heroes. Maybe Okay, there we go. The warden may, may step up now. Come to the balloons, warden. The minions don't need you. The balloons need you. <laughs> oh, why? Okay, uh, let's go the king. Let's go queen. And then I got my royal champion. So I'll be ready to uh, to smack some uh, some stuff here in a moment. Let's actually, yeah, let's send in the royal champion. And I'm going to put in a nice rage and a quake. All right, so I've quaked to the town hall. It's a major portion, by the way. Lots of hit points dropping that quake on the town hall. Because if, even if it's only 10%, it's like hundreds of hit points or something like that. And that's that's me speaking without knowledge. Like, I didn't do any research to figure that out. It just, it's logical, right? Uh, I, I would like, actually, I would love to look at the hit points of the town hall at town hall 13. Just to see, because I don't know what it is. Um, and I bet you it's a pretty large portion. And again, the Earthquake spell does so much damage uh, with one Earthquake spell that it would be absolutely worth it. 100%. Anyway, so there you go. There's our uh, three-star. Nice way to start today's video. Um, so there you go. Nicely done. Lots of loot. Gotta love it. And let's do another one. I'm going to request for a Rage spell because I don't have any heroes, so I do want all the help that I can get. Also, I got a... Notification on my phone sold something. That's always a good thing. All right, and then let's um, okay placed in a league. I guess I wasn't in a league. I don't remember that. Do you remember that? <laughs> that's so that's so weird. Sometimes I feel like Clash. Uh, I don't know if it's because they do like soft updates or something that I feel like every once in a while I'm kicked out of a league for no good reason. Don't know why. Anyway, so no rage spell for me. Not going to sit around and wait. I don't have the time today. So let's go smack a base <laughs> and steal some more loot. No clue what lab upgrade we're going to do today. I think I did the battle blimps last time, right? I might do them again. It just depends on if I have enough elixir. I have 8 million plus whatever I'm able to snag out of the uh, out of the next base. So... This one has a lot of Dark Elixir, but it's not a dead base. Now, honestly, it just takes a little bit of patience, and you can find a dead base with a lot. That was 10,000 Dark Elixir, but again, it was a really strong base. So a little bit of patience, you get yourself a dead base, you get easy loot, and you gain a ton of trophies because you're generally always three-star. So I'm going to be patient, and I'm going to find the right base. 
There you go. 800,000 Elixir, over 6,000 Dark Elixir, and it is a fully dead base. And look at this, both sweepers pointing down. Oh, that's perfect. So I'm going to come in from the top side. I realize that most of the loot and stuff is on the side. So I'll tell you what, let's snag a little bit of the loot first. Let's do a little bit of surgical loonian all right so we got a few balloons they're going to take out the archer tower there's really no other air targeting stuff around here so these two minions will snag all that dark elixir no problemo also there's probably quite a bit of dark elixir sitting in this storage so yeah i might actually try to try to take that um yeah, everything else yeah everything else is gonna be okay all right let's do this thing balloons get in there buddies we're definitely gonna hold on to a few minions though let's drop a bunch of hastes and try to uh, plow through here quickly and get a raid spell in there as well. This queen's going to be a problem, uh, especially because the midges are stuck on the storages, which take forever to go down. So, oh, geez. Um, okay, so what do we got here? Let's, let's drop another raid spell. Um, go ahead and uh, let this balloon, the section of balloons, kind of do their thing. They're going to clear a bunch, actually. Wow, that's amazing. And then I've also got something in the CC. What do I have? I got balloons. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> nice. Okay. Well then let's um let's take out. I'm gonna let this group kind of clear this corner of defenses. I'm gonna send the battle blimp in toward the town hall. And I think I don't have a rage spell though. I didn't wait for my clan castle rage spell. Probably should have. Because I could take out the town. Actually, wait a minute. Why would I bother with the town hall? Okay, I'm not gonna bother with the town hall. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bother with all of this garbage. Because uh, the Teslas and stuff are really the only thing still defending the Dark Elixir store. Well, there's no Dark Elixir either. There really isn't. Okay, now, okay. Here, here was the wisdom. <laughs> uh, here was the wisdom. I'm making everything work together. That's the wisdom. Uh, so hopefully we're able to take out maybe more of the collectors and mines out here. I would love it if this Archer Tower would go down. Both Archer Towers, actually. So watch this. They're going to step up and the splash damage will take out the Archer Tower. Possibly the Woodstar at the same time. Come on, guys. Ah, come on. Oh, that was close. That was so close. All right. Uh, minions, just get in there and take out that loot. All the loot's on the outside. I, this whole time, I've been thinking about trying to take out this town hall, but there's obviously none in there. I've got 15 Dark Elixir left on the base, so I'm not going to worry about the core. I don't care about the two star as much as I care about the loot right now. And, oh, wow. Look at that. Minions taking out a scatter shot. You don't see that every day. You never see that, actually. Minions never take out the scatter shot. That was awesome. Um, unless, I guess... I guess if the scatter shots on the outside because it does have that dead dead zone right next to it. So the minion could technically be deployed right in the face of the scatter shot and take it out. But that's assuming that there's no other air targeting defenses near the scatter shot. So that's a very rare scenario. <laughs> and uh, it's nice to see. It really is nice to see. All right, minions. Uh, you guys got to take out this wizard tower quickly. If you don't, then it's going to be death. Death. For you actually ooh, get the get the elixir oh ho, ho. wow that elixir collector has like one hit point <laughs> that was amazing all right good try guys good try oh wow look at these minions get that gold buddies that's amazing 95 percent. if that one goes down oh that one only had one hit point okay that one had like three hit points that one had three hit points the other one had one hit point not bad that was a lot of loot that was worth the three minutes it took me to get it for sure it was really nice loot so that was what uh eight nine hundred thirty thousand elixir man that's amazing really good and over eight hundred thousand gold too if you do the math all right so with that loot bonus dudes um amazing base now let's do the upgrades i have a load of elixir thinking about dumping it into something epic in the laboratory so last time we did the battle blimp i believe yes so we have another battle blimp upgrade we could do that's eight million elixir in a 10 day upgrade or let me back up let me look at something i'm not going to do the dark elixir stuff because dark elixir is still all going into heroes um i could do because my raid spells are maxed out that's awesome for loony and main mainly that's what we would need it for the balloons are maxed out so we've done all that Still kind of working through maxing out the miners for the minor attacks, the, the baby dragons as well. Um, I feel like we are in a decent shape as far as troops go. Spells could take a little work. I mean, like the free spell is super useful and everything. But I think that just to benefit what I'm using right now, honestly, upgrading the battle blimp would be best. Because I can't and I don't always get a donated battle blimp. So I'm going to go and upgrade this, guys. Another 8 million elixir. I've got the perfect amount. I'm literally going to be broke. I think I'm going to have to raid with, like, all barch. Or maybe even, well, I think the 99% discount is happening. Actually, wait a minute. 
Oh, I've got 9 million elixir. Okay. I, for some reason, I was thinking I had 8 million. So we're good. We have we have excess elixir. We're not going to be dead broke. Okay. We're good. Let's upgrade this thing, guys. 8 million elixir 10 day upgrade. Bam. And I don't know if level 3 is maxed out for Town Hall 13 or not. Um, and by the way, this is just because I'm thinking about it. What is the hit point ratio, uh, the hit point amount for a Town Hall? Look at that. 8,200 hit points. 8,200. And a level 1 earthquake spell does 10%, I believe. So level 3 does 21%. I don't know what level, level 1 does, but level 3 does 21%. And that means that this earthquake spell, this level 3 earthquake spell does... 2,000 hit points or something like that. It's crazy. It's crazy. That's so good. That is so good. And of course, the benefits decrease if you do more than one on the same building, but still amazing, right? Still awesome. So, okay. Battle Blimps upgraded. I should have probably done Earthquake Spells so because that was amazing. What, what kind of benefit does the next level get? 20? Wow. So you gain 4%. 4% of 8,000 hit points is a lot. So yeah, that actually may be worth it. Plus the radius increasing is cool too. So maybe I have, maybe I've underestimated my earthquake spell. <laughs> I think that might be, I think that might be the case. Anyway, battle blips upgraded. Job is done. Next job is dark elixir. So can I upgrade either one of these heroes? I can. I can upgrade the king or maybe the royal champion. Let's see. No, 230,000. Oh my gosh. Um... Definitely can upgrade the queen. Close. Actually, wait, can I? No, I'm so far. I haven't done any. Okay, so let's upgrade the king to level 42. The queen's already level 42. We're going to go ahead and take the king to level 42 too. I try to keep them even if I can. So 110,000 dark elixir, six day upgrade. Bam. Nice. Okay, and then I really don't have any more elixir. I don't think, yeah, I really can't afford any of these elixir. I mean, I could do a bunch of like gold mines for free gold. But that would be kind of lame, I feel. <laughs> Maybe I should focus on defenses today. Yes, I think that would be a great plan. And I don't even remember. I haven't been doing a whole lot of filming on Rush to Max lately. So I lose track of what I'm doing. Uh, the Eagle Artillery to level 4 is technically the next one on the list. But I can't afford it. So I'm going to move on to the next one, which is Air Defenses. So I can finally take Air Defenses to level 2. <laughs> finally. Look at my defenses, by the way. Dragons, Electro Dragons, Electro Dragons, uh, some sort of combination. There's a ground attack finally. There's more dragons. So most of my defenses lately have been dragons and E-Drags, which means I need to upgrade these air defenses. Darn it. And it's it's serious. It's a serious upgrade because lots of benefits here. So 90,000 gold. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade three of them immediately. And then we're going to look at, because I've got, I had four builders left. So I'm going to be able to do all four air defenses in one go. Um, I want to upgrade a bunch of walls too. So I'm going to need to save 90,000 to gold, which means I've got 9.4 million gold. Unfortunately, the walls are a million a piece. So I'm just going to spend 9 million gold. So um, actually, wait a minute. Oh, that, look at that in the treasury. 500,000. That means I was almost to 10 million. Almost. But not quite. So I still have to do nine. That's fine. Uh, how many walls is this? This is 18. So if I just pop it in half, there's my nine. Perfect. Nine million gold. There we go. And now let's upgrade the air defense. Bam. Nice. Probably one of the dumbest things that you can do is to upgrade all of your air defenses at once. But as you can see, it's only a 12 hour upgrade. So it's worth it. Worth it, right? I like it. Awesome. Well, uh, guys, that's going to do it for me today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to check out my second YouTube channel. Link is in the description and in the pinned comment for more Clash Royale trading card videos, which uh, the video is not live yet. It will be, though. So stay tuned and uh, be patient. <laughs> Unless you're watching this later, then yes, it'll be live. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all again next time.